But not all of the crowds were at the mall today. Some were checking out a new place in Albuquerque that had a special Black Friday surprise. News 13's Lizzie Mitri shows you what the deal is at this shop. Black Friday. It is crazy in here. Is it worth it? I don't think so. I'm getting ready to leave. Gray Thursday. We're here for washers and dryers some and some makers. waffle makers and sandwich makers and a blender. Some TVs. People will go to great lengths to get a good sale, but we were looking for a deal like no other. How about this? A closely guarded secret of unbelievable savings. So we hit the road. and made our way to one of Albuquerque's newest Apple stores. Well, sort of. This is the Apple store, yeah. It's not quite as busy yet like the Apple store in Uptown, and if you look closely, something's a little backwards at this store. It's actually an art gallery in Albuquerque's Borellis neighborhood at 4th near Bridge. This is my joke to, to say, like, it would be a tragedy if this, this happened to, to Borellis. Andrew Lyman has run the tan gallery for the last four years. He says the neighborhood is special, it's unique, and this, what he calls the Apple store, is a warning against commercialization. It can go this way and it can look like everything else, or it can keep its kind of vitality and keep its individuality. This is both the opening and the closing of the Apple store. Lyman says this will be his last show at the gallery. After our four-year run, um, moving on to uh, New Orleans in January. As you can imagine, the place has been turning heads, even attracting some curious kids. Liz Amitri, KRQE News 13. Lyman says it took him a week to transform the art gallery into what it looked like today, an Apple store. Another group of artists will be taking over the place when he leaves in January.